Blocked drains caked with refuse compromised the proper flow of water through the connective channels. In turn, the stagnant waters become breeding surfaces for mosquitoes. In this neighborhood, for instance, where people are practically living in a refuse dump, their challenges with mosquitoes at night can only be imagined. Residents in this area tells me the hippie refuse excavated from this canal predisposes them to mosquito bites and by extension malaria disease. And they say the situation gets worse during the rainy season, more so when the season intensifies. We have a big problem in this area. And the, rain, uh, the mosquito are plenty. Usually treat malaria. So far, we are living here. We are not going to meet the government. We do it ourselves. Mosquitoes are too much here. They are making us sick and threatening the lives of our children. The government should come to our aid. While a clean environment is crucial in the eradication of malaria in Nigeria, the country coordinating mechanism for the Global Fund to Fight Malaria says there is still a huge gap in terms of state governments taking over the program. We have really gone a long way in controlling malaria because of the robust um, RBM partnership that we have in Nigeria. We really need, one, strong funding from the states. Then along there is our environment too. Please. A cure, you know. So um, all these wraps together is what is really inhibiting our um, drive to eliminate malaria totally. This former commissioner for health says the elimination of malaria will require a collective approach. If we can tackle it, take care of it, it means a large chunk of what disturbs our progress on the health sector as a nation will have been removed. So it's only, it, it stands to reason that all of us must focus on eradicating it, both from the environmental point of view, from the vector control, from the uh, prevention of allowing uh, uh, mosquitoes to bite you, and so on and so forth. To reduce the risk of malaria infection, the World Health Organization recommends that the most vulnerable groups in malaria endemic countries of sub-Saharan Africa, which are the pregnant women, children under five, and infants, receive preventive treatment. But critics question that possibility when people have to live in an environment like this. Vivian Irikefi, TVC News.